In this problem, I need to draw this angle, 340 degrees in standard position. I need to convert to radian measure. It wants the exact value, not a decimal approximation. And I need to find the reference angle in both degrees and radians. So let's start off by drawing it in standard position. Remember, that means my initial side is on the positive x-axis. Since this was a positive angle, I'm going to rotate counterclockwise. So remember, I start at 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, and now I get back to one complete revolution is 360 degrees. So 340 is in between 270 and 360, closer to 360. So I think my angle is going to be down here in quadrant 4, and there is my angle of 340 degrees. So I've now drawn my angle in standard position. Then it says convert it to radian measure. So remember, 340 degrees, what is the conversion? The conversion factor is pi radians equals 180 degrees. We're going to use dimensional analysis. Since I have degrees up here, I need degrees down here. So I have 180 degrees is pi radians. My degrees cancel out. And I'm going to land up with 340 pi over 180. And since we want the exact value, we're just going to reduce this away. So divide both by 10, I get 34 eighteenths. And I think both of those are divisible by 2. So 2 goes into 34 17. So I'm going to get 17 pi over 9. So that is the exact radian measure of my angle. Do we need to write radians? No. If there's nothing there, it's assumed to be radians. Now we need to find reference angles. Remember, the reference angle is the acute angle between the x-axis and the terminal side. So here is our reference angle, this angle in here. I'm just going to call it theta. And I, I think you can see from the diagram that 340 plus theta has to equal one revolution. So the way we're going to find theta is we're going to take one revolution and subtract our given angle of 340 degrees. So what's our reference angle going to equal? It's going to equal 20 degrees. So that is our reference angle in degrees. And there's two different ways to find it in radians. Let's see if we can actually deal with fractions. One whole revolution is 2 pi. And we need to subtract the angle of 17 pi over 9. How are we going to do that? We need a common denominator. So we're going to have to multiply this by 9 over 9. And so I'm going to get 2 times 9 is 18 pi minus 17 pi over 9. And what's that equal to? Pi over 9. So our reference angle in radians is pi over 9, and in degrees it's 20 degrees. Of course, what's the other way of finding the reference angle in radians? It is to convert 20 degrees into radians using this method.